Okay, welcome everyone to my continuation of what is geometric topology. Today I would like to tell you about the Rydermeister moves, or kind of the Rydermeister moves, more like the Rydermeister moves for three manifolds, and the formal name of it is called Kirby Calculus. So, very surprisingly, in some sense, three manifolds are not much more complicated than knots. So, we'll see a precise statement. And what we get is a Kirby calculus. It's a bit more complicated, obviously, and it takes you a while to really digest what's going on. But in the end, it's a completely combinatorial statement that describes essentially all three manifolds. So it's really this idea that we had in the last video already. So knots and three manifolds are essentially the same objects. And that's a crazily beautiful statement in itself. So uh, study knots and you study three manifolds. Uh, by the way, this continues up to four manifolds in a certain sense, obviously, um, but it's pretty cool. So knots are at the heart of low dimensional topology. That's, that's what I'm saying. So I said again, we are up for a Reidemeister type theorem, a combinatorial description of three manifolds. And what we had in the last video is this idea that we have a knot somewhere, well, we have a knot sitting somewhere, we thicken it into the torus and we take it out of our S3. So it sits somewhere in S3. We take it out and glue it back in in a certain manner. And it was the following. So we had a meridian M and a longitude L of the second knot. So the torus is the second knot. And you take it out and turns out that the gluing in map is completely determined where you send M. And we send M to some curve that winds around crazily around the torus and the curve is determined by two numbers, P and Q, how often it does the M trick and how often it does the L trick. And that's what we had. So we had this gluing of meridian picture. And the process is determined by uh, those two numbers and you can actually choose Q to be plus minus one. So you have two numbers, one of them is plus minus one and one of them is some integer. P. Uh, so every closed oriental uh, orientable connected three manifold can be obtained by this gluing procedure. And that's already a cool statement in itself, but it's not quite complete. What we really want is, well, we want to identify the relations among those such that we can say, okay, here are some knots and the knots will be labeled by some P Q numbers and well, there are some PQ numbers, and we want to say, or oh, are the three manifolds that we obtain by surgery, are they the same or not? So we want the diagram calculus uh, on knots that kind of decides this question for us. And that's um, what is this the Kirby theorem, the Kirby calculus. And this is really like a Reidermeister theorem. We will see a more precise statement uh, in a few slides, not too far away. Um, the only kind of technical thing here is that we are not taking knots but we're taking frame knots. I will explain on the next slide why. So what is a frame knot? Well, a frame knot is more like a ribbon. So it's, it's more like this type of picture. It's a little bit of a thickening of the usual knot and the ribbon has the property here. Well, you can see it here, which is slightly different from, from knots. So if a ribbon, you could try that at home if you have some ribbon and you pull it straight, from this picture here, what you get is a little twist here, uh, which is not the identity ribbon. So it has a slightly flawed Reidemeister one move. And um, so this class of framed knots, essentially they're ribbons and we need to use those framed knots and not knots. And the framing is the number of twists. And the way you do it is you think of it as having a parallel curve and there are some arrows pointing to that curve, which determine the framing. So this beast here, is really a ribbon. And well, you, I could have drawn those little arrows here as well. And if you kind of pull it straight, um, you still have a little twist. So they behave, behave slightly differently than knots, but that's kind of a technicality here. They have just a modified Reidemeister one move. Anyway, so we are taking framed knots and not knots. Just to make that clear here, we take framed links and not uh, knots, whatever. Um, so the more like the... Um, the ribbon type picture, which makes sense because remember that we had, had a second version of the knot and sl something slightly goes different for the thickening than for the knot, which is just the one dimensional string itself. And what is much better or what is actually the correct answer is that you should think of the knot as being a ribbon to begin with. Okay, and why do we want to do that? 
Well, you want to do that is because you essentially have a torus. As I said, you don't have a knot, you have a torus. So there's a longitude that goes around um, the, the knot itself, which is the longitude of the torus. But the choice of a longitude like this one here versus this one here will uh, or potentially changes the surgery procedure. It does change the surgery procedure, but it kind of already, well, that's, that's something you need to prove, but it's kind of uh, believable that it will change the surgery procedure because I have this choice of a longitude. Say it again, it's more than just a knot, it's actually a torus. So there is actually a choice of a longitude involved and the longitude can do a priori some pretty crazy things. And exactly this encoding um, this we, we encode this using ribbons because ribbons essentially take care of of those little twists here because you just can't undo them they're honest twists and that's why we have those frame knots and that's it it's kind of a little bit of a technicality it kind of makes sense because we are essentially working with tori so second knots and not knots themselves okay so it's slightly not perfect my analogy from knots to three manifold because it's really frame knots, but okay, I apologize, but let's just go for it. That's how it is. And, but the statement itself, here it is, is still really, really cool. And it's a writer master type statement. So we have now a collection of those, those things here somewhere or intersecting, whatever. And they are numbered by some numbers, uh, five minus two, uh, one, something like that. And they describe by a surgery, we already know that, a three manifold. And the three manifolds are the same obtained by surgery if and only if, if and only if, it's really an if and only if statement. It's as beautiful as it, as it could get. Um, the, and it's really, really simple. So the first one is just saying there's the same up the right of that moves. So we have the same knots uh, as framed knots. So there's the same uh, right of that moves. And um, you could still kind of play a little bit around with the surgery knots. And there are two extra moves. So it's basically right master moves plus two extra moves, which are the following. So you can always add or remove, could be move one, uh, a plus minus one labeled circle, because that doesn't change the surgery. It's kind of a harmless operation. And then you have the infamous, famous, whatever, Kirby move two, which is the sliding operation that you have one link and one other link and you kind of slide one of them underneath the other by just connecting them and doing some, some nonsense on the framing that is really controlled. So you can just slide knots over one another. Now they are knotted and then you can still apply right master moves. Um, so the Kirby two move makes, makes actually everything quite interesting. Anyway. So it looks a little bit uh, difficult if you see it for the first time, but keep in mind, these are three manifolds and this is a complete description of three manifolds, which is kind of surprising. So one here, Roman one, are right master moves. We already understand them very well. And Roman two are two extra moves, which are called the Kirby moves. Um, as I said, they look a little bit scary, but they're actually very natural. So let me try to motivate the second move. It's called the handle slide move. It's really this operation that you can, well, have a little handle in your three manifold and the knot is kind of here in this picture, L1 and L2, L1 and L2, and you have this L hash operation. So you just do the connected sum, but twist it a little bit. And this corresponds to just pushing one of them over the other in the sense of a handle slide. The other one, the Kirby move one, is a little bit more boring. So a plus one surge, plus minus one surgery along the unknot gives back S3. Why is that? Well, a plus one surgery just means you, uh, well, let's say the one surgery, you just glue the uh, meridian back into the meridian. So you essentially have done nothing uh, to your, to your uh, three manifold. So you're back to S3, actually. So um, the main point is that those moves are sufficient. Okay, so Kirby moves look a little bit scary if you see them for the first time, but honestly, what is not scary if you see it for the first time? Um, but it's really cool. It's an if and only if statement that determines three manifolds. It essentially is saying that three manifolds and knots are the same, but you have two extra moves to take care of. The handle slide, the slightly complicated one where you move uh, one knot over the other, and then the more easy one, um, the surgery along the plus minus uh, colored unknot. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Kirby Calculus this video, and I also hope to see you next time.